eating spree. So Abby was just adopted by her parents two or three weeks ago, so they're pretty new to her. Um, she has a couple of things that she's working on, but her biggest thing is that she's deaf. So that is a big obstacle for her owners that they're trying to work through. They really want to do some training with her, but they just didn't know how. Um, she's got some manners that she's working on as well. She does jump on people and she will nip at you for attention, especially when she's jumping, she grabs at your hands and stuff. And she grabs it pretty hard. Um, her leash manners, she pulls on the leash and she also tries to chase small animals. So on a walk, she has pulled a little bit over before. Um, and they definitely want to fix that first and foremost. So with dealing with a deaf dog, you kind of have to alter our training a little bit and work with hand signals. So I'm going to run through um, the hand signals that we're going to be using and see if she's responsive to any of them and haven't done any prior training with her before. So we're just going to see where she's at today. So we're going to use a sweeping motion of up to do sit and see if she does that. So she doesn't know sit, and we're going to be doing a point down to the ground as her down command. <laughs> Don't have any food for you. So she's not responsive to that. So with place, all we're going to be doing is pointing to the place object, and uh, that's going to be her indicator there. Oh, that's very good. Okay, well, a little, little too much. Uh, but she did go to the place object, so that's a good start. Um, for the recall, we're going to be doing like a pat on the legs. Good, there you go. And then obviously with a recall, you want to sit, but she doesn't know that yet. Um, <laughs> so it's going to be a challenge over the next two weeks, but it's a challenge that we're up for to so check back in um, and see all of our progress. Thanks, guys.